Ahoj, u mikrofonu Honza Kavalír. Nacházíme se v Žilině na Diamond Cupu na Mozoány pro klasika. Jak vidíte, vedle mě stojí Phil Heat. Phil, first of, thank you for coming to Slovakia for the second time. How do you feel after your guest posing? Well, I feel great. Um, it's all about the fans. Uh, this wasn't a competition for me, obviously. So uh, Slovakia has been great to me. So I can't wait to come back. Yeah, you asked fans about uh, coming back next year. What did they What did they answer to you? They said yes. So hopefully. Um, you know, we're able to work with the promoters and make that possible. Obviously, uh, your goal for this year is number six. Uh, what would it mean for you to tie Dorian Yates in for uh, six titles from the Olympia? Uh, tying Dorian Yates obviously is a huge achievement, huge accomplishment. Uh, the, the work that Dorian put in, he's a Hall of Fame bodybuilder. We all know that. We all know that uh, the blood and guts Dorian Yates, I mean, he's a legend. So to be tied with him, as a six consecutive Mr. Olympia titles, it's a dream. So I hope to make that dream a reality very soon. What are your next goals? Is it uh, tying Ronnie and uh, Lee Haney for uh, number eight, or do you want to go far, number nine, number ten? Well, I have to focus on six this year, and uh, it all depends on how I look this year. I definitely feel that it's possible because I'm younger than most of the other guys. So I have to keep in mind who I am, what I'm able to do. I win this year, then I have to look at another mountain and see Arnold Schwarzenegger at number seven, train very hard, go through that process next year, tie Arnold, and then obviously there's going to be so much pressure leading up to this year. I can only imagine the pressure leading up to seven, eight, and possibly nine, and maybe ten. I don't know. But if I could, you know, have one dream, it would be to be the greatest of all time, uh, winning nine, if not ten, Mr. Olympias. Uh, you, talk, you talk about pressure. Uh, some people uh, create criticism and think that last year it was close between you and Dexter or even Sean Roden. What do you think? Are they close or it's no contest? According to the score sheets, that's what matters. So what fans may think, they're not judges. Um, so the score sheets showed that I only gave up one point. Normally, I would, I've won every Mr. Olympia with perfect score. So the fans that go online, they need to start reading the score sheets because that tells the bigger story. Um, those guys that you just mentioned, they're great bodybuilders. They're fantastic. Um, but I beat them both, and I beat all of them. Um, I definitely feel that uh, last year, and even the last two years, wasn't my best, but my best was still good enough to beat them. What's dangerous is that, ask the viewers, what will happen if Phil he shows up at 95 to 100%? I think we all know the answer. So that's the goal, is to be at least 95%. Last two years is 80%, maybe 85. We all see the, the, the difference this year. So I'm just praying to God that I can work very hard, stay injury free, the motivation is there, and I can give the fans something they've never seen from me. From the videos we've seen this year, it seems that you are much more hungry than in the last two, two or three years. Why is that? Because I got pissed off. <laughs> I got very upset because I understand that everybody expects bigger things from me. I'm the, most, I'm the highest criticized bodybuilder possibly in history. We all know that because every time online, anyone that wins a pro show, they compare them to me. Even I'm the only pro bodybuilder that gets compared to Sean Ray, Kevin Lavroni, Flex Wheeler, Ronnie Coleman, all these greats. Why? Because they expect greatness out of me. So the last two years, you know, it wasn't it wasn't great. You know, I tried, but in 2014, I got sick. Um, no one really knows the whole story, but that's what happened. That's why I heard all the criticism and stuff. And then I came back with the tighter abs last year. So I went from having personal issues with losing a father, getting a divorce, going through personal battles, running companies, all this other stuff. Now this year, starting to realize that I gotta love what I do. And I love bodybuilding and I will not train realizing that I'm just gonna be Mr. Olympia because I show up. I'm gonna train like I've never trained before and I think people are seeing that now I want the fans to get the best out of me they spend the money I, I appreciate everything they do and um, with that said I'm gonna train extremely hard I just hope I don't get injured and knock on wood you know please pray for me that I don't get injured that I'm smart but my training with Honey Rambot has been great 
and, and we make the best team in bodybuilding right now. And I truly believe that come September, we're going to show the fans something that it's worth paying a ticket for. Everybody that hasn't bought a ticket, you better buy one. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be the best Phil Heath you've seen. Yeah, I see the passion right now. You, you go crazy. You, you got pissed last year. Yeah. Phil, good luck. Take uh, number six, take, take number uh, seven next year. Whatever you want, just do what you do the best and enjoy the sport yeah. just, like, uh, just like you do right now. I see the passion. I, I love it. Thank you for your interview. No, thank you so much. And thank you for East Labs. I know you guys have supported me throughout my entire career but also you supported bodybuilding that to me means everything to me it's not just about supporting phil heath it's about supporting the entire bodybuilding community and i feel that your website and all the things that you guys have done is a huge testament to that so i thank you very much inspire more people to compete in bodybuilding there's a lot of different categories but let's be honest everybody wants to flex on stage and everybody wants to be mr olympia holding the big sandow trophy Bodybuilding is where it's at, and I just want to say thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your kind words, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Alvin. Yep.